G'day everyone, Virtual Conquer 85 here, also known as Staza85 from the Minecraft forums. Today's video I'm just going to be showing you the latest changes we've been making to Global Illumination. Now you may have seen in Preview 2 that there was a new uh, Global Illumination feature here. Now in Preview 2 it wasn't actually completed, we are only just getting started with it. Uh, but now it is actually finished and I just want to go over and show you the differences that the new GI can make. Now first off we're looking at it here with the standard global illumination that is Sonic Ethers. Just looking at the reflection from the lava onto the white wall and the white path here onto it as well. It looks alright for now. You can sort of see a bit of a distortion in it in some places. Uh, but if we go over to say the new uh, global illumination, you'll definitely see a change in the way it looks. Right, so what you're seeing here now is actually the new global illumination. Uh, as you can see, you can see more of the reflection from the white path here up onto the wall. And it's a nice warmer glow as well from the lava onto the wall. Uh, also, there's different uh, quality settings you can actually choose for this. So right now I'm only using 128 samples. Uh, you can go up to 256 or 512. Uh, but each uh, jump that you make, you lose around 5 to 10 FPS. Now, I've got fraps on so you can see the FPS changes. Uh, just going from the standard GI, which is Sonic Ethers, to our new one, you lose about 5 frames or thereabouts. Um, now I'm just going to jump from the 128, which is what you're seeing now, to the 256. So in here you can see the new GI quality. At the moment it's only on 128. Bump that up to 256 and hit done. Alright, so this is with the 256, which is more the recommended quality level to use, as it will give you a more accurate global illumination calculations on it. Uh, you can see now the bleed from the white onto the wall is a lot smoother and probably more accurate along with the red lava glow. But you can see the frame rate now has dropped down to about 57 frames. And if we go to now 512. Alright, so this is with the <coughs> quality setting now on 512. Honestly, there isn't a huge... Uh, I suppose detailed difference between the 256 and 512 but as you can see the frame rate now has dropped down to about 46 45 frames a second uh, so just to uh, do another little test we'll go back to the default uh, Zeus GI just to see what the frame rate is and so you can see the change again all right and this is just the standard Zeus Global Illumination. Now you can probably tell a difference straight away, it doesn't look as good, but looking at the frame rate from what was a 45, 46 at 512 quality up to 72, so there's a big difference. Um, but even just a new quality, uh, or a new GI, sorry, with the 128 samples, there's still a bit of a drop, so from 72 down to down to about 68 FPS so there is about you know a 5 frame drop about uh, 66 67 frames a second but it is a better way of doing global illumination and there are actually more benefits than just what you're seeing here and I'll give you some more examples alright what we have here is just a little test area basically letting a bit of light come in hitting the magenta wall here and as you can see there's no color bounce at all in this room using Sonic Ether's original global illumination but now if we switch over to the new global illumination you can now see that there is actually magenta colored being bounced onto the wall and up onto the ceiling 
It can even uh, be blocked down by your character. See that there? Now this is running at 128 samples, so there is a bit of a gap in the bounce of the colouring. Uh, if you push this up to say 256, it does become a lot smoother. But once again, these uh, the new global illumination does take a bit more of a FPS hit. And we'll just go one more to 512. And this is at 512. Now obviously I've left wraps on so you can see the frame rate drops. Uh, but it is a way nicer way of doing global illumination. You can see there as I pass in front of it, it blocks the light coming through which dampens the color bounce. So if I just stand here and we'll, uh, I'll cycle through each of the global illuminations just so you can see the frame rate and the change. Now what you see here is the standard Zeus global illumination. As you can see there's no colored bounce from the magenta wall at all. Uh, but this global illumination is still useful I believe uh, for the lower versions of Continuum. Stay uh, used in the standard preset. So I hope the Continuum team still use this version just for the lower lower versions of the shader. Now if we switch to the new global illumination at 128 samples and what you're seeing here is the new global illumination at 128 samples and as you can see the magenta wall has actually been projected up onto the cobblestone and we're running at about 68 frames. I'll now push it up to 256. Alright, and this is running at 256 samples now. As you can see it is a much smoother and nicer effect, but the frame rate has dropped down now to 57 frames a second. And lastly I'll go to 512. And this is running at 512 now. Now we all recommend that 256 is probably the best one to go with. Uh, but 512 will make it a smoother sort of look to it. Right, the other thing that I wanted to point out that the new global illumination fixes is, as you can see with this test site here, this is using the Sonic Eater's global illumination. You can see a lot of uh, distortion in that underneath blocks, especially at a greater distance. Um, you can also see it's quite bright underneath here. There's too much reflection bounce hidden up underneath this. Uh, now if we go over to say the new global illumination. Right, now this is using the new global illumination at 128 samples. As you can see it's mostly all gone. It's just a little bit on the edges now. And there's nowhere near as much GI bounce happening up underneath here. Which is a, just makes everything look a lot nicer in my opinion. Uh, you can improve upon it a little further if you up the samples. So this is running at 256 samples now. It still has a little bit of the pixelation just on the edge of the blocks but on the whole it is a hell of a lot better than what it originally was. Now lastly just to show off um, that bug that I was showing before with a bit of the grainy pixelation in the GI. This is just uh, the standard Zeus global illumination that you're seeing right now and as you can see there's a lot of grain pixelation in it. You can try and fix this by, by either turning up the GI filter quality or the GI quality here but doing this will lose frames. So once the new version is released, what you have to do is turn on the new GI. Uh, you can even have it at 128 samples and you're losing about 5 frames. And as you can see, it's almost all gone. And obviously if you turn up the sample rate, it'll disappear even further. So yeah, that's basically all I really wanted to show with the new global illumination. On the whole, it is a, a lot better way of doing it, as you can see here.
fades all out to the top. We'll go back to Sonic Ether's Global Illumination. This is uh, just Sonic Ether's standard Global Illumination in Continuum. You can see that ugly upsampling pixelation going on. Now before I go, there was one thing that you guys might want to do to make the Global Illumination or Sonic's Global Illumination in Preview 2 just a little bit better. Right, so what you want to do is open composite, not composite one, but composite.fsh and come down to line 354, 355 where it says return light times and in the preview version it's times it by 1200 lower that down to 400 right what that will do and I'll just show you a quick comparison right as you can see here this is what uh, the GI will most likely look like in the latest preview 2 version like, it's very hard to see much detail on the walls along here it's really quite bright everything's you know actually over over bright really now if you change that uh, down from 1200 down to 400 this is what you'll get as you can see now you can actually see a lot more detail in the wall and it's not like anywhere near as bright as it was so yeah if you guys want to make that small little change you can it will definitely improve the look of the GI that you guys have got now and later on once the next version is released uh, the new global illumination will most likely be on by default with new standard for the high version at least um, and hopefully they'll still keep the Zeus standard GI just to save on frames which would be this one here the new global illumination so yeah that's all I really wanted to show you guys just some of the new changes to global illumination some of the bug fixes it brings and I'll catch you all next time bye bye